Edrin Cooper, the Texas A&M linebacker, is not getting the attention he deserves. He's currently projected to go somewhere in the mid to late second round, but when you turn on the tape, he's one of the most explosive and physical players in this class. He put up the highest overall grade of any linebacker in the FBS last year, while also being third in run stop percentage and tied for first in sacks. The one knock on him, a fairly high missed tackle percentage, landing him somewhere in the middle of the pack. Besides that, he had a brilliant season. He impressed at the combine as well, finishing with a relative athletic score of 9.1. He has elite speed as he ran a 4.5140. He combines that with good length, explosiveness, and agility. He's got great numbers and athleticism. So now it's time to look at the tape. Let's break his game down trait by trait, and I'll show you why he's a borderline first round pick. And I'll also let you know which NFL legend he reminds me of. The thing that stands out immediately when you watch Cooper is the fact that he is a tone setter. He's aggressive and plays with unrivaled tenacity. Against Alabama, AM loads up with this 4 3 look. The tide run a misdirection with the right tackle and fullback pulling to the left. The traffic clears in front of Cooper, and there is no hesitation in his game. He closes the distance immediately, puts his head down, and levels this Alabama running back. And he plays sideline to sideline and to the whistle. Even when the play goes away from him, he still shows high level pursuit. He's a tackling machine and his relentless attitude is perfect for an NFL linebacker. His tape is filled with hustle plays and it speaks to his character as a leader of the Texas A&M defense. Another thing that jumps out is his play speed. He's got the speed to track down backs, cover tight ends, and QB spy at a high level. A speedy aggressive linebacker like Cooper can also be a good remedy against a dual threat QB. His ability to explode once he diagnoses the handoff is uncanny and allows him to shut down plays near the line of scrimmage. You can use him to shoot gaps and create disruption in the backfield. He's a versatile chess piece that does his best work when he's close to the action and using his speed and physicality. Looking closer at his run defense, he's great at taking on blockers and filling gaps. He reacts quickly to movement in front of him and has impressive mental processing. No matter where you align him, he can excel with his mental speed. He avoids traffic well with his quickness, gets leverage on blockers, and then once he gets to the hole, he's a downhill competitor. He reminds me of Panthers legend Thomas Davis in the way that he plays bigger than his size and how he attacks gaps. He doesn't run through blockers, but he's smart, quick, and knows when to be patient and when to explode. On passing plays, Texas A&M liked using Cooper to either cover the running back, Green Dog Blitz, or QB Spy. A Green Dog Blitz is when the defender is supposed to cover the halfback, but the back stays in a block, so the defender blitzes. All of these roles fit his traits well. As a spy, he has elite closing speed and can catch QBs off guard and sack them behind the line. He did this against the fastest QBs in college, including Mill Rowe and Jaden Daniels. He times his attacks well and consistently executes. In coverage, I didn't see a lot of snaps of him in true coverage, but in the small sample size, I did notice some things I liked. Here, the Tigers tried to stretch him out with a wheel route, but Cooper did an amazing job diagnosing the concept, undercutting the tight end, and then catching up with the running back. This is an extremely impressive rep and highlights the rare movement ability Edrin has. He also has the speed to keep up with tight ends, while also being able to absorb physicality and play through it. In zone, he's got good instincts and can jump route concepts with his high-level closing speed. He's got the traits to succeed in this area, but still needs some polishing all around. At the next level, he'll likely be used to cover running backs and blitz more often than not. Now to the negatives. Small thing, but at times he can overcommit. He likes to get ahead of blockers and play fast. So when a back stays in close to his line, Cooper will lose his leverage and contain. The bigger concern with Cooper is his size and power. He's not really a people mover, so the question is how he'll handle the physicality and the big offensive line at the next level. He'll likely have to take on contact more often, which doesn't play to his strengths. Overall, Edrin Cooper is my favorite linebacker in this draft. He plays with elite toughness and is a player who leads by example. He's quick to diagnose running plays and has the explosiveness to get out in front of blockers. Then once he's in the hole, he's a vicious tackler. He has sideline to sideline range and is very effective against QB options. He takes no plays off and fights until the whistle. In the pass game, he shows promise with his movement ability and closing speed as he can latch on to running backs and can slow down tight ends. He can be a high-level QB spy as he's patient and times his attacks well. On the negative side, he's a little bit undersized and plays more of a finesse style of game, which could see him struggle when he's forced to take on blockers inside. For this reason, I could see him being deployed as an outside linebacker where he has more space to operate. I see him going somewhere early in the second round, but I do expect him to be the first linebacker picked. So those are my thoughts on Edrin Cooper. Let me know what you guys think about him in the comments and who you want to see in the next video. That's all from me, and I'm out.